In this session, we'll talk about general formatting and the structure. Okay, so first of all, you need to be aware that general format is regarding the communication in your marking criteria. So it's very important that you pay attention to that because that also gives you four marks in total. Um, so let's take a look of each point here. So first of all, um, like we said in the previous, previous video, that you only can do up to 12 pages. Um, the exam report said even 10 pages would do if you can write a, pr a concise IA. Uh, that 12 pages would exclude the reference page. So your reference page can be on page 13. Uh, next, which is something that we also mentioned earlier, that you don't need cover page. So don't do like maybe like your EE, then you may have a cover page, but then this one you don't. Uh, same for the table of content, uh, just don't do that, right? don't waste your page limit. Next thing is something that uh, sometimes I don't understand why you forget is um, the page number, just to make it easier to read. And sometimes when you want to refer to something, you may refer to a page number. There is no clear restriction on the font size and line spacing and margin. Uh, but I think you should be reasonable on that. In the reports, they said, oh, if you use eight font size or uh, using single line spacing, then it may not be appreciated because uh, ultimately you are including loads of content right within um, the whole 12 pages of IA. So uh, quite likely you have included something that is not very important and even irrelevant. So I would say normally uh, we will be doing at most 10 or normally 11, right, would be pretty good. And for line spacing, you may want to, uh, I would rather say not about single line spacing, it's more about between the paragraph, uh, you need to make it more clear. Next, uh, this is not something about your scoring, but then it's just about something you just have to pay attention really, uh, otherwise you may just be disqualified is to not disclose your personal identity including your name of course and even your face all right this is related to how um, the IB markings is done because they don't want the marker somehow accidentally know who you are and maybe they just personally know you and give you a high marks uh, so just to pay attention to that all right just use the personal code given by the IB uh, next is more about like some more practical stuff that is if you use any photo diagram table and chart or graphs they all should be captioned right and of course depending on what you are doing say you have to do graph then you should start with graph 1 graph 2 and so on and table will be separated so start from table 1 table 2 etc and when you put down the number not just just table 1 but also you put down uh, table 1 raw data probably something like that right so put down the name of the whatever uh, items that you put down as well especially for diagram if you have anything that is not original maybe you download a certain diagram about your framework for example you're doing something to do with the thermal physics and you're trying to explain why maybe for different concentration of salt solution the specific heat capacity is different then you may be using something to do with the mole molecular structure maybe they are closer together blah 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 or anything like that very likely it's not something that you draw right you can uh, probably find something like that on the internet or some reliable sources in that case you must do the citation properly telling us that where you retrieve the diagram so that is something to do with academic honesty again uh, next thing, again, this will be something, something uh, appreciated and give you a chance to earn a higher marks. That is, uh, whenever you do any parameters or quantities in your IA, uh, for example, like mass, force, velocity, or um, speed, or whatever, temperature, uh, density, whatever quantity or variables, uh, you should assign a symbols to it okay so for example again uh, air resistance will be F A R like that not just F but also make use of the subscript so A R represent air resistance or it could be theta I for incident angle M and you can see here A V E means average so average mass 
so it should be quite intuitive and you should also define clearly in your passage it could also be delta and delta in our physics IA uh, would simply be understood as absolute uncertainty of something so here if it's M and you earlier defined M is mass then we could un we could understand that it is absolute uncertainty of mass so uh, it's more like M uh, plus or minus M or actually for the average you can put a bar like this right so this is like the average so normally when you say M say mass then it should equal to the average number so M bar plus or minus delta M Right, so for example, uh, for a certain mass, for a certain trial, you may have measured it is 1.2 plus or minus 0 0.1 gram. All right, so this is how you could express it. All right, so or if you want to refer to a particular thing of this, this trial, then you can say, oh, M bar will be 1.2 gram or delta M will be uh, 0 0.1 gram in this case. At the same time, uh, quite likely, I would say, if you want to earn level 7, for sure that you would do repeated trial in your procedures. So for example, if you're measuring distance for a certain research question, uh, you may have repeated for three trials, one, two, three. Then in this case, it would be very intuitive that you include it as S1, S2, and S3. All right, then it will be quite easy to understand. And then in that case, whenever you refer to the later session, when you want to calculate something, for example, when you try to show the average, then you can say S A V E equals to S1 plus S2 plus S3 divided by 3. All right, or anything that you like to do, that would be good. Or if you're saying, oh, somehow S3 is, a, is the anomaly, then you can refer to S3 directly. Right, it's very easy for you to, for the reader to locate uh, the reading that you're talking about. And all this can actually be done in the column head. So you can talk about, um, say, in the column head, mass M. All right, then we know that M is referring to the quantity of mass. So you don't have to uh, do like maths saying that let's x b blah 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 not not like that kind of style you can just do it in the column head and that will be good for definition and lastly uh, you should pay attention to the decimal place and significance figure let me explain to you in the next slide all right so first of all for decimal place in raw data table you should always do the same decimal place i cannot think of any scenario where you do the same sigfig for raw data. So if you can think of, let me know in the comment section. So for example, if you're measuring certain length, uh, say in meter, then uh, you may have 0 0.0012, let's say, right? Cause uh, one is like one cm, right? So two is like uh, the one mm that you measure. So let's say that is the case. So uh, maybe the next one is two, two, next one is zero, 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 three four and the next will be say exactly six cm so instead of putting it 0 0.006 directly you should also put a zero here to match the decimal place all right and say the next one is uh, seven five and then the next one is uh, nine zero right or even uh, you have something like one uh, ten cm exactly so you should still put it like this the idea is that uh, when you do a measurement from your raw data, you, be, you must be using an instrument. And that instrument should have an absolute uncertainty. And that absolute uncertainty should be the same because you're using the same ruler, for example, that can read up to maybe 0 0.0001 meter, right, up to this place. So that's why you should express up to this decimal place. Uh, same for say mass uh, in terms of gram maybe uh, then maybe you are using a certain electronic balance that can read up to uh, two sig figs so 1.23 3 2.34 etc maybe next one you measure is 6.05 or next one you measure is 7.2 exactly but then uh, you should still put on zero here or maybe the next one you put is exactly 9 gram but then 
you should see um, you should still put down 9.00 all right, again, to follow the idea that is up to the same decimal place. So for this one, probably uh, the delta M is actually equal to plus or minus 0 0.01 gram. All right, so somehow you should express it in the column head. As for the sig fig, it's more used in the later session, especially for process data. So for example, if you are measuring uh, the density, for example, so you know density equal to mass over volume and so there's a certain way that you have already measured the mask and the volume um, using the raw from the raw data table and then you can calculate the density so let's say uh, the mass is 1.23 over 3.4 times 0 0.7 um, times 0 0.2 all right let's say and so you may have find out the exact value from your calculator to be something like 2.584033613 something like that right etc and then you should know that the rule for like finding out the precise or acceptable sig fig should be following the rule of uh, finding out the least sig fig in your raw data when you do this calculation so for uh, finding out the density, this one, this one is 3 sig fig, and then this one is 2 sig fig, and then this one is 1 sig fig, and this one is 1 sig fig. Alright, so in this case, then you what you could do is uh, really express it as 3 only. Okay, so I'm not going to put down the unit here because, um, well, I mean, if you, if you, you can actually, actually if, you, if I say this is kg, this is in meter cube, then this will be in kg per meter cube. But the most important thing is uh, to show you the sig fig, how you can um, find out the acceptable SF that you should present. However, there is still a scenario where in the process data you may be following the decimal place instead. So in that case, that will be uh, doing the addition and subtraction. Although I don't find it's quite common uh, in process data, usually you just do multiplication and division but say you really have to do addition and subtraction then you should do the decimal place for example if you are trying to do uh, some, 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 some sort of mass you want to add them together and then maybe one of them is really heavy that as in uh, 1.20 kg and the other one is like 0 0.032 kg let's say right so ideally when you add them up together it will be 1.232 right because if you I mean you just add the numbers together but then the thing is when you do the addition or subtraction or what whatsoever uh, you have to only take the least decimal place so again uh, the last digit here would not be included all right at the end so it will just be 1.2 kg at the end Right, again, it's not very often you see this, but then uh, this is something that you should do. Right, for multiplication and division, you follow the sig fig. And of course, uh, when you are doing the error propagation, so things like uh, when you do, say, the percentage error of the density, right? I, I take the example again, then you may be doing something like delta m over m log plus delta v over v log something like that at the end you may want to find out the delta p uh, it's the same idea of course when you do addition then you consider the dp and then when you do the division here you consider the sig fig so we finished talking about the general format which is related to the communication marking aspect uh, but notice that if you could do all the things above doesn't mean you automatically get four marks in communication because that would require you to keep your eye reports concise as well and also everything is just relevant to your research question and also the use of terminology uh, will be scientific and accurate in our uh, in our physics context however if you cannot do like the things that I mentioned like the sig fig decimal place or uh, doing the the caption of the graph etc uh, clearly then quite likely you get only two marks in communication 
In the coming few video, we will cover uh, the subtitles, how to write each part uh, one by one, and that will also be related to other marking aspects, including exploration, analysis, and evaluation.